was your assessment of that performance? Look, I was pleased to get the first one out of the way um, for not being in the ring for so long. But now that first one's out of the way, we're going to look for a better performance on Saturday night. Halfway through the year, what are your ambitions for the rest of 2022? Get this one out of the way Saturday night um, and hopefully have a couple of more this year and then see what next year brings. The super featherweight division is stacked, you know, lots of talent in there. I know it's a little bit further in the future, but are there certain names that you're looking at and, and thinking, you know, I would love to fight them in, in the future? We take every step as it comes, you know. It's pointless saying you're going to fight for a world championship when you're not at that level yet. You've got to take every fight as it comes, because if you start jumping the gun too far, you're not going to get there, you know. Take every fight as it comes, every camp as it comes. And then when we're at that level, we'll start thinking about them fights. Stylistically, what do you bring to the ring that's slightly different from everybody else? What should everybody be looking out for when they watch Jimmy Lee? The thing is, I've had over 60 fights. Does it look like I've had one? A pretty boy. <laughs> uh, Ebony, you are obviously in the same camp. Um, I'm taking it you've, you've trained in this camp together, seeing as you've had the same date. Yeah, it's good air. We're both on the same show. That's what we, we both wanted. How is it, you know, having a, a stable mate that you're on the same card as um, in terms of training together? Do you push each other? Yeah, it's good because you're both sort of peaking at the same time um, when we're doing sparring, go traveling around different gyms for sparring, stuff like that. Last time out, you were unfortunate not to get to win. Um, but was it a lesson that you probably needed to learn? Yeah, I mean, I could have given her a couple of rounds. I still think I got the win. I think I was lucky they didn't give me a loss in Glasgow looking at the main event decision. So that was a positive I took from it. I don't want to be getting draws. Um, I went back to the drawing board and um, changed a couple of things. Trained really, really hard. Um, so I think you're going to see a different Ebony Saturday. You talked about going back to the drawing board. Can you enlighten us? Can you give us any insight into what has changed or maybe, you know, what, what you've done differently in your preparation? Yes, yeah, so I've added a couple new people to the team with my strength and conditioning and um, with my running. So getting pushed every, every session with that. So we are expecting a better Ebony Jones. Yeah, I'll put pressure on myself saying that now, but I mean, if you don't see a better Ebony after doing what I've done this camp, I can't really have done much more. I'm sure we will. Jimmy, Ebony, it's been a pleasure. Good luck to both of you Saturday night. Thank you very night. much. Thanks. Right, I am now joined by Jamie Takivi and Shannon Ryan. Both Londoners, both debuted last time out. Uh, both 1-0, a lot of similarities. Jamie, I'll come to you first. You originally criticised kind of your, your, your performance, but then you went back and watched it a couple of times and you realised, oh, it wasn't that bad. Um, what did you see that you missed first time round? Firstly, I would like to start off by saying um, rest in peace, Simiso Bufulezi, who passed away yesterday. You know, boxing's a hard way to make a living and you've got to respect every fighter that steps into that ring. But um, going back to the question that you asked, um, you know what? I thought I didn't do so well. The fact that he started off fast, he came at me, I didn't really expect that. But when I did watch it back, this, the, 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 I did show certain skill sets that not many heavyweights do. You know, I showed certain, you know, that's, obviously I can do more stuff, but I showed things that I liked. So I was happy with that after watching it back. And to be fair, it was a, quite a difficult debut opponent, a very, very good opponent. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've had good sparring for this camp. Yeah, yeah. What have you learned from, from your sparring partners and, and from everybody who's probably further on in, in their progression? I just know that I can get there and I can get there very soon. Like being like in the ring with those guys and being able to handle myself quite well, you know, I have no worries and I know I'll be I'll be there very soon. Your stable mate Chris Congo is obviously in a fight against Famela. Um, you've been in camp with him as well, you both had the same date. Yeah. What have you seen from Chris and what are you expecting on Saturday night? To be honest, I'm expecting a, a knockout from Chris. To be honest, uh, he's sharp, he's on point. The skill sets is un like, unbelievable. Chris is really sharp, so I, even I can't wait for that fight. So definitely, that'll be a good fight to watch. Shannon, I'll come to you next. Uh, you have participated in pretty much every combat sport, but what was it like stepping into a boxing ring as a professional for the first time? 
know what? I loved it because I love the lights, you know. Um, I love performing, and I was able to do that in the boxing ring, and I personally feel like I put on a really good performance in those four rounds. You've always seemed very assured, very confident, um, and you've got good people behind you. What is the best piece of advice that those people have given you, seeing as you're so young in your journey? I think, first of all, the piece of the advice that I've given myself is go after what you want and chase it no matter what. And I think the people that are supporting me, the advice they've given me is the same thing, but it's just the support and the, the focus that I get from them. It's just been insane. June 11. Thanks. Hello? Yeah, you can hear me? June 11th, what can the fans expect from you? Um, like I said last time, you'll see intelligent boxing, and I think that this time I'm going to bring the same thing, you know? Good luck to both of you. I'll see you on Saturday night.